Hey guys, so I thought I'd do something a little bit different today on my channel. I thought I would take you along shopping with me. So there have been a lot of new releases on Sephora that I've really been interested in, and I was uh, drinking my morning coffee thinking, oh, let me pop onto Sephora and, you know, maybe place an order. And I thought, why don't I do it with you guys? And so the idea is I'm just going to hop online. Um, I'll show you my screen. I'll have a camera on my face as well so you can see uh, me talking through my decision making. And tomorrow's video is basically going to be the try on haul of everything that I ended up getting. So I thought that would be uh, fun for you guys. And I've watched uh, some other YouTubers do this like shop with me kind of video. And so much fun. I think they're a lot of fun and I figured why don't I give it a shot. I enjoy watching them. Hopefully you'll enjoy watching them as well. And if you like it, definitely give this video a thumbs up, letting me know that this is something that you like or comment down, but whatever it is, <laughs> do something. Do something to let me know that you like this kind of video and we can, you know, do it regularly. I can do it for different uh, sites. You know, when I go on to Nordstrom, which also happens quite a bit um, and do some shopping, I can take you guys along for that ride as well. So uh, why don't we head on over to Sephora? All right. Right. Well, I'm using some new software, so I hope I sound okay. <laughs> but anyway, here we are on the Sephora homepage. And if I'm coming onto Sephora <laughs> looking for something specific, I usually just go straight to the search. And the one um, thing, the one new thing that I've really been very, very interested in are the new Tower 28 cream blushes. So they just came out with three new shades. So I'm just going to type in Tower 28 here. And what have we got? Yeah, here it is. The Beach Please Lip and Cheek Cream Blush. And I'm just going to click here. And yeah, here are the three new shades. So we have Rush Hour, which is a sun-kissed peach. <sighs> that looks really pretty. I'm just going to look at... Oh, yeah, that looks really, really pretty. Wow, look at that. Gorgeous. Okay. I think I definitely want Rush Hour. And then they have two other colors. This one is Power Hour, a sun-kissed terracotta. <laughs> you know that word terracotta gets me because it just, it's like all of my sunburnt dreams. Um, so let me click there. And here it is modeled. Look at that. Oh, that looks so beautiful. And works on deeper skin tones as well. I wonder if it's too deep for me. I don't know that I care. <laughs> I don't know that I care. I think I am. Yeah, I'm probably going to pick that up as well. And then the last new colors after our sun kissed berry. Oof. Oof. You're going to hear me say oof a lot today. I have a feeling. And this looks like, oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, that looks beautiful. All right, I am going to get all three of these. So I'm going to hit add to basket, continue shopping. <laughs> I'm going to add the power hour, continue shopping, and then the rush hour. Oh, they all look so beautiful. I just had to look, but I have two of these already. So I have um, happy hour, which is this one. And then I have magic hour, which is this one. So the one I don't have is golden hour. I don't know if I need golden hour when I'm getting that sun kissed peach. Oh, it does look deeper though. Okay. Let me, let me calm down. Let me just get the three new shades. And if I'm feeling like I definitely need golden hour, then I'll get that one too at another time. But I want to get these new ones. I'm afraid that they're going to sell out. The other thing I wanted to come onto Sephora for, Sephora for, <laughs> is the new Merit Beauty line. So I actually heard about this uh, line from um, actually CNBC I was watching. So the founder of Who, What, Where, I think she's the founder or one of the founders of Who, What, Where, she started this Merit Beauty line. So I'm going to go ahead and do a search for that. There we go. Okay. So, oh, okay. I don't know why I thought it was going to be like this huge line full of stuff, but this looks nice. I like the packaging. <laughs> you guys know I'm a packaging whore. I just am really, really into packaging. Okay. So it looks like they have a foundation and concealer stick. 
They have a cream blush. You guys know how much I love these bubble blushes. Um, a highlighting balm, lip oil. Ooh, eyebrow gel. Ooh. Um, and a clean lash lengthening mascara and a brush. Okay, so I'm really interested in this cream blush. Let's just click there. I know I just put <laughs> three Tower 28 uh, blushes in my cart. Um, this is probably so... <gasps> Do you see, terracotta, see, they're playing with me again. Terracotta, what does this look like? Well, this is like very nude. Okay. So there's terracotta, Beverly Hills, Cheeky, Berry Beret, and Mood. These all look like they have a little bit of shimmer to them. Is that right? Where's the description? Transparent, finishes radiant. It's a flexible bomb. I don't I don't know what that means. Uh, Microfine pigments, deposit a touch of color, low weight emollients, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so maybe it doesn't have shimmer in it, but it kind of, these swatches almost make it look like, especially this one, maybe they're just showing it's their emollients uh, versus like any kind of shimmer. I'm really tempted by Terracotta and Beverly Hills, the two lighter ones and Cheeky. You know what? I have I have those Tower 28s. I know I love that formula. I, I'm gonna stick with those, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put these on the back burner. I'm not gonna put these in the cart yet. No. Okay. Let's go back to um, the rest of the merit line. Okay. This foundation and concealer stick. This looks really interesting. Oh, they have quite a few shades. Let's see. 1820. So they have 20 shades, and this is the deepest. Nice. Okay. $38. I think I definitely want to try this. It's vegan, natural. It's fragrance free, which is great. Clean, cruelty free, long wearing, lightweight, medium coverage, complexion stick with a natural looking finish to replace the foundation and concealer in your makeup bag. I am down. Okay. Uh, let's see. What shade should I get? So I usually go for either a light or light medium and a neutral undertone. So that's what I'm going to look for. So far, these are all fair. So here's light with neutral undertone, and that's linen, and then light with cool, light with peach, a light medium with warm, oh, and it just jumps to medium with neutral, that's bisque. Okay, so I'm kind of interested in linen and bisque, so now I'm just going to go over to these arm swatches and see. I. You know, the pictures on Sephora aren't always the best, but because this is a new line, I probably won't be able to find too many swatches online. Anyway, um, so linen and bisque. I think I am looking really kind of pale these days. So I think I'm going to go with linen. I like the undertone of it. I don't know. Again, I don't know if it's the picture, but bisque, even though it said neutral, doesn't that look a little peachy? It looks a little peachy and linen does look a little bit more like neutral. Dune looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go for linen. I'm gonna add that to my cart. Where did it go? Linen. I'm gonna add to my, oh, add to basket. I'm gonna add to my basket. All right, continue shopping. Let's go back to Merit. All right, you know I have to look <laughs> at the Day Glow highlighting balm. Um, Okay, so there's two shades. We have Bounce Rose Gold and Kava Champagne. Let's look at these swatches. So, I mean, the, the rose gold is just such a pretty color, so I'm drawn to it, but I think Kava is definitely better suited for my skin tone. Yeah, let me try it. Let me try it. Okay, I'm gonna add the Kava to my basket. That looks like fun. Continue shopping and back to the merit page. Shade Slick Tinted Lip Oil. I mean, you guys know how much I love lip glosses and lip oils. So we have a warm blush, a bright peach, a cool pink, and a deep berry. When it comes to glosses, I do definitely prefer lighter shades. Let's see. The Eau Naturelle looks very warm. The Pink Beet, that actually looks very pretty. Marrakesh Sangria, they all do look really pretty. You know what, I'll try the Pink 
beat. That's this one. Oh, interesting. So they swatch these in a different order than they appear here. Yeah, it goes Oh Natural, Pink Beat, Marrakesh, and here it's Marrakesh before Pink Beat. I'm easily confused, so I just want to point that out to you guys. Um, so I'm going to add Pink Beat to my basket. And what else do they have? Ah, oh, this pomade eye gel. Yes. Oh, okay. I definitely want to try this. You guys know I just love my Tom Ford fiber brow gel, but I'm always in the market for another one. I mean, if I can find an alternative to that, it's just fun to be able to use different products. I've been using that Tom Ford brow gel for like three years straight now. So yeah, still, still looking. All right. So we have blonde with cool undertones. I don't think that's for me. Um, then we have brown, which is a light to medium cool brown. I do prefer cool to warm. And then we have dark brown, black with warm undertones. I think I could probably do brown. Wait, do they have, what do they have here? Brown, black, brown. It's really hard to tell <laughs> when a color is this dark, if it's actually warm. I, I do wonder if that's just going to be too deep for me. And then we've got brown. Let's see. Okay, so this is the model with brown in her brows. Let's click on black. You know, I'm going to go with the, the brown, the light to medium cool brown. I like, I like that it has a very cool undertone. I don't like a warm tone to my brows. So I'm going to play it safe and go with this one. Yeah. Okay, add to basket. All right, continue shopping. Let's go back to Merit. And I do not need another mascara. I have like 20 that are open. It's making me crazy. Uh, so I'm just not even gonna click there. I'm gonna pass on the mascara. Uh, blending brush. This looks interesting. Oh, it's out of stock. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Um, so that is it for. Merit. So those were the two things or two uh, brands that I wanted to come on and take a look at, you know, directly. So Tower 28 and Merit. So now what I generally do, because I'm on Sephora, so why not poke around is I go straight to new and they just added this just dropped section. I don't know what the difference is between new and just dropped. And then they have it by segment here, but I'm just going to click on new. Oh, you know what I think the difference is? Okay. I'm slow. So new, I think, are actual products that are new. They're brand new to the market. And then I think just dropped are things that are new to Sephora and not necessarily new to the market. Am I right? Just dropped. Yeah, like Orbe, I mean, this has been sold everywhere, but it's new to Sephora. And then same with a lot of this Joe Malone stuff. I think that's what the difference is. And then I think they mix in some new stuff in here as well. Please correct me if I'm wrong <laughs> down below in the comment section, but I think that's what the difference is. All right, let me go back to um, new makeup here. Um, I'm usually, that's really all I'm kind of interested in. This Crush Shine Jelly Stick from Bobbi Brown is so good. It's so, so good. I love it. I highly recommend. What else? I am just not interested in this Marc Jacobs stuff. I don't know. I don't know if it's the packaging. I don't know if it just looks so like derivative from so many other things that we've seen, like absolutely no interest. Um, what else is going on here? Oh, these, these look really interesting. Have you guys seen these? These are the color chalk multi-use powder pigments. These colors are gorgeous. I love the colors that they came out with. But this is like a stick. Hold on, let's see if you can see. Do you see in that close-up? So you like tear like the outer sheet. You tear little bits of it off to expose this like chalk stick. This is like the same design as a lot of like artist tools, like if you're using pastels or something. And it's a mess. So I'm not exactly sure if this is just, oh wow, each handmade color chalk is unique, no two are the same. 
sorry, that was distracting. <laughs> that distracted me. Um, but I just don't know how this cannot be a total mess. But these look really pretty. Really, really pretty. I'm into those really light kind of silvery, purpley shades. But no, no, that is not for me. That is way too fussy. I'm going to have to see someone else use them. Um, let's see what, oh, the Kosas. Oh my gosh, I forgot about this. I totally want to get this. I love the Kosas bronzer, as you guys know. I think I mentioned that in like my 2020 favorites. Love the bronzer. And then they came out with this cloud set, baked setting and smoothing talc free vegan powder. Oh, I'm excited. Let me just read a little bit more about this. All right, clean, vegan, best for oily combo, normal skin. Oh, I have dry skin, so I wonder if it's not good for dry skin. Hmm, let's see. Bamboo stem extract absorbs excess oil. Passion fruit leaf extract reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Visibly minimizes pores. I love the bronzer so much that I want to try this, but I know it's a completely different formula. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm just setting myself up for failure here, but I also love Kosas. So I do want to try this. All right. Let's see if there's a shade that I think would work for me. So here's airy. This is sheer, very light. I think this is way too light. Breezy, which is sheer light. Um, feathery, sheer, light, medium comfy, which is sheer medium. I think maybe I'm feathery. Let's see. There's feathery and here is breezy. I think I'll go with feathery. I really, really shy away from powders that can be even a little bit too light because then I feel like it just looks dry. Even if it isn't, it just looks dry if I feel like it's too light on my skin. Yeah, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do feathery. And we'll see. Maybe it works for dry skin. I think that'll actually be a good test. Do you like how I justify my purchases? Okay, so that is the Kosas powder. Um, continue shopping. Let's back up to the new section. Okay, so what else do we have here? Dior lipsticks. I do have a bunch of those. These are great. I love the new Dior lipsticks. The ones that I've tried don't have any fragrance. The formula is so creamy, so pigmented. Love love of love. The happy kiss balms are really nice. If you have dry lips, if you like something balmy, Westman Atelier, I'm so happy that they're on Sephora. As you guys know, I just did that video. I'm um, talking about their new products where I include the new uh, blush stick in Bichette and the two new highlight sticks in Nectar and Brulee, I think are the two new colors. So I got those. This is a great concealer, the Laura Mercier. Um, oh, what's this? Say or Psy? This is a new brand, although I feel like I've seen them before, but this is new to Sephora, isn't it? Do they tell me how to pronounce this? No. Oh, but it is a clean beauty brand. Let me click on this brand and see what else they have. Oh, wow. Okay. So they have this tinted moisturizer SPF 35 sunscreen. I think I'm a little bit, this, this sounds really up my alley, but I think I'm a little bit more curious about this merit stick. So I'm going to, I'm going to stick with this. I don't want to buy too many foundations at once. I really went through like a crazy foundation phase. Like what was that two months ago? Holy smokes. I need to like back away from foundations a little bit. Dewy highlighter. Let's see. Oh yeah. It's like in a pump. I think because I just purchased that Auric from Samantha Ravendahl, I don't need this. And I have this Merit highlighter in here, which is a stick. Yeah, I think I'd rather try the Merit. Um, no mascara for me. Oh, another eyebrow gel. Oh, I don't really like the super teeny tiny spoolies. I like when they're small. But I don't like when the there's like almost no spoolie to it. I have really long eyebrow hairs and that just doesn't work for me. Oh, wow. Okay, so they have mini highlight. They have a sunscreen. Okay, I actually just purchased a sunscreen, so I'll pass that. They have another highlight. Dew Balm Bouncy Marshmallow Highlighter. Let me see. Oh, these are pretty. So... 
Lightweight dewy hide. Okay. So I'm guessing the texture is just different between these two. Okay, I think I'll, maybe I'll pass on that. <laughs> I'm getting confused. This is what happens when there's like too much, which is why I don't like big, big releases because I get like caught up and then I just need to back away from everything. Lip balm. Ooh, more lip gloss. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, oh. See, these are a little bit more appealing to me than the Merit ones because they don't seem quite as pigmented. I mean, I know that seems counterintuitive, like why bother with a lip gloss, but I do like just a very subtle effect on my lips, like these bottom three, the easy, cute, and fresh. Ooh, these look nice. Maybe, let's see, easy is a barely there pale pink. Cute is a juicy white peach. And fresh is a perfect light nude. I think I want to do easy, the one all the way at the bottom. It just looks like it has like a really pretty sheen to it, you know, and like, like barely there pigment, which I'm really enjoying. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm going to do easy. Really kind of like light, light, light pink. Do I want nude? I'm going to do easy. I'm going to do the pale pink. All right. Add to basket. Continue shopping. Let's see. Let's go back to new makeup. Um, it's so hard to like flip through these because I feel like every time I go back to the new section everything is reordered so I never know if I'm missing something but yeah like this was at the top before whatever anyway <laughs> let's go back. oh I still need to replace my Clinique even better foundation because I love that foundation I thought it was really really nice but the shade I got was so off but I need to just like go in store and, and take a look. Ooh, the La Mer uh, powder foundation, which I think is new to the U S I think it has been out for a while. I am not generally a powder foundation person, but this is, this is kind of tempting to me because I, well, I love La Mer. So, um, that is enticing. I think I'm going to hold off and maybe get that for the warmer months. Um, which are fast approaching here in Vegas. I'm already dealing with seasonal allergies. So um, yeah, I may be looking into this sooner rather than later, but I'm going to pass for today. Yeah, I'm not going to get that just yet. Oh, and the perfect primer. Maybe I'll get those together. Ooh, CBD lip balm. I love, love, love Lord Jones. Let's see. A uh, nourishing lip balm with 25 milligrams of premium full spectrum CBD to soften dry lips, leaves them smooth and supple. Um, CBD, shea butter, grapefruit, and rosemary oils. Now, I appreciate grapefruit oil because it just smells so good, but I don't think that's necessarily good for dry skin. So I don't know how I don't know how I feel about that, but I do. Ooh, I am a sucker for lip balm. Okay, I'm going to add to basket. Let's keep going. What else is new here? Okay, I think we reached the bottom here. Um, one other thing, I actually just popped up in my head. One other thing I want to try out is the Tom Ford, the new eyeshadow quads. Now, <laughs> I don't, I, yeah, I love the Tom Ford eyeshadows. You guys know that I have almost all of them. Um, and then he's come out with two new shades. Oh, this one is sold out. So this one's insolent rose. And then the other new one that he's come out with is desert Fox. So what I was saying was, I just don't know if any of these are unique enough for me to, for me to pick up, but I do love both of these color stories. This one is just new packaging. It's body heat. I already have that. Here is Leopard Sun, which is the one that I thought Desert Fox would kind of look like, but it is actually different. Different enough? I don't know, <laughs> but different. I feel like Desert Fox is kind of the pressed powder version of Suspicion, which is the baked wet dry formula. Now it's a little bit deeper. Yeah, it's like a warmer version of De La Creme. Oh, interesting. I think I'll get it. Am I going to get it? I think I'll get it. <laughs> I don't usually take this long to decide, but it's like, I really, yeah, I just don't know. I just don't know. Deep brown with red undertones. Oh, I really like the sound of that. All right. I'm, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. 
Okay. What else is there? Orbe. Like- I'm just so excited. Orbe <laughs> is at Sephora now. When that VIB event sale thing happens, I am definitely going to be stocking up on my Orbe. That's very, very exciting. What else? New. Oh, no. <laughs> New fragrance. <laughs> As you guys know, I've really been getting into fragrance. I think I need to just not not look here. I'm just going to scroll real slow because that apparently is going to keep me from buying anything. Okay, Uh, nothing too exciting. Um, I just purchased that Creed fragrance, and then I was so kindly sent that new Sisley fragrance. I've been wearing both kind of like every other day. That's enough fragrance for me. All right, so let's go to my cart. Let's take a look at, sorry, my basket. Um... Let's take a look at what I have in here and see, this is usually what I do. I'll just go back in and kind of like edit a little bit or a lot, (laughs) depending. Um, Okay, so we've got the Merit Lip Oil, the um, Beach Please Lip and Cheek Cream Blushes from Tower 28. So definitely keeping those three in here. Um, Definitely keeping the eyebrow pomade, concealer, foundation stick, highlighting bomb. I pretty much have like a full face going on here. Um, setting powder, lip gloss. Um, you know what? I have this lip oil in here and I have this lip gloss in here. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to remove this lip oil. I'm trying a bunch of other Merit stuff out uh, and nothing from this brand. I think it's Say or so I'm gonna to have to figure out how to pronounce that. Um, so I'm gonna keep this lip gloss. Then I've got the lip balm and I've got um, the eyeshadow quad. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this. All right, this was a good Sephora trip. Sometimes I come onto Sephora and I feel like I don't see anything new, but there was a lot of good new stuff in here today. All right. Well, that was so much fun. Thank you guys for shopping with me and definitely tune into tomorrow's video where I'm going to try on everything that I ended up purchasing at Sephora. I don't know if I'll be getting everything I put into my cart. We'll see. I may have to edit it down a little bit. I try to edit it as I, as I go along. Um, I think I'll be getting everything in there, but definitely tune into tomorrow's video if you are interested and in not only seeing what I ended up getting, uh, but seeing it all in action. And please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe down below and I will see you in tomorrow's video.